thanks for joining us. Pinky loves, Pinky loves tonight. I wanna thank you guys, this is what I love so much, is thank you for joining our channel. Um, don't forget if you like these family videos, go ahead and hit subscribe and like, like our videos. Yay! Mm -hmm. Tonight we are doing Sunday dinner at home, like we typically do um, Sunday night. Dinners are very traditional in my family and hope they are with you and your family. Um, it's the one day of the week that we can start fresh or end the week. If the week is stressful, whatever it may be, since we've had a stressful weekend, uh, week, last week, it's good to end some, um, end in a positive note. And it's actually good to, you know, if you're reflecting that day, if you're in, I don't know where your spiritual life is, but if you're, you know, in the moment with God, it's good to just have your body just rest, focus on dinner, focus on your family, and just keep it very simple and peaceful. This is what I do every Sunday to start my week going off to the work world or just going off into school things like that life's tough so sundays actually give me that moment to just refresh and recharge and restart i did nap quite a bit today even though this meal took me nine hours to make you'll see it in a video i i were about to post of how we made this meal it took me about nine hours it takes about eight to nine it took me nine and it's wonderful it's totally worth the wait if you have the time and patience and I usually do have that time on Sunday and Saturdays but Saturdays I kind of I don't cook on Saturdays so I was planning this um, I started planning this meal on when was it Friday so so let's get into it we got a spicy pho get into that guys beef steak it's got beef ribs rib tips riblets in it I put the Ikino how what are those Ikenoki? called? Inoki. Yeah. Inoki. Yes, it's those mushrooms. In it. We have our Asian mint, basil mint, jalapeno, um, jalapeno, bean sprouts, cucumber, lime, green onions. I put a little cilantro, green onions. This particular soup, this is a um, beef hue beef hue style beef base yeah. I use it's a spicy broth base you do not need any sriracha for this base unless you want it extra spicy but I don't recommend it unless you know if you like it with sriracha that this is just just this is just as good you don't need any kind of extra added hot sauce you guys it's delicious it is so delicious I found this on another youtubers he uses a beef a beef base and once I started using it, it's changed my life for the better, you guys. Also, I made some Vietnamese spring vegetables. What is it? Vegetable spring rolls. Okay. Then I have, I just did a fish sauce with some chili. Yep, yeah, there you go. And that's what we got for dinner. So we're going to go ahead and start. Mmm. Because so I'm hungry. Oh my gosh. Mm. Guys, mm. this meal, you guys will know I'm a single mom. This meal cost me about $35. That's good. At the restaurant. Mm. Be careful. I did get a bone just now. Be careful. A bone. When you're cooking with bones, that may happen. Be careful, okay? And they're big bones, so they're not like little chips, but just be careful. It was wrapped up in my noodle. Mm. Mm. So delicious. Mm. You guys have got me loving mukbang videos. My kids and I, that's so, I may say this till I'm blue in the face. I started watching mukbangs about three, four years ago. And in a really dark season of my life, my kids would go off, you know, some weekend. 
would be by myself if I didn't go out with my friends or something. But I would be at home and I'd watch her mukbang videos on YouTube. And I wish I got started then. We were obsessed. We have been watching B Loves videos from her early days. We love you, B Loves, and I am so proud of you. You're such an inspiration for everybody and I love the fact that you're so authentic on your channel and you've really encouraged other um, YouTubers. YouTubers or anybody that's trying to go somewhere in life be authentic as you and I really really want to tell you thank you so much for leading the way for all of us so I love eating as much as you guys do so I'm excited to make more of these videos because we eat a lot <laughs> And it's so fun. Isn't it fun, you guys? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My son is the editor for all the videos. He's an expert. He's become like a pro at these videos, man. I just make, sit and make them. And look pretty. Mm -hmm. He does all the the banners and he's getting really good and the thumbnails and I'm editing the videos my daughter is actually when you guys comment and you guys start to comment she's actually the one gonna read it so be nice be kind be sweet be generous be loving we all could need it we all need it it's a good opportunity to show children there's some good in the world we got so much hate going on but be the light in somebody's world. You can be the light in her world or his world or my world. And we all need that light. I don't care who you are. So she reads the comments and she's going to be liking or commenting back. Since this was their idea. So also you guys, I love the ginger. A lot of people throw out that ginger. I love ginger and I'll eat it they will too huh mm -hmm. you cooked it down so much that it really doesn't have much taste to it but mmm so it's not so spicy but it's so good I love it that beef those ribs you guys mm -hmm. Literally fall off the bone. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I buy those ribs in a two packet from Walmart for like eight dollars. And stop planning my meals. I make pho once a month. And um I used the other pack last month and I used the the smaller pack this the smaller slab today. And then I always buy the meatballs package from my Asian grocery store. And they're like this. My kids love meatball soup. Mm -hmm. Buy meatball soup at the restaurant. So I just learned how to cook it. Taught myself. Pho is actually a very easy meal to make. Mm -hmm. Very easy meal to make. It's just time consuming if you have the time. Um, you guys, I got some wonderful kids. If I haven't told you guys already. They're always in the kitchen with me, helping me. Praise God. Praise God for Noah and Grace. Makes their mama's life easy. But they were doing all the vegetables. Prepared the plate for you. Let me show you the plate. Of my sides and stuff. 
nose in there. Chris is cutting up nose filming. <clears throat> the great thing about fuzz is that I have enough for leftovers for tomorrow or, or a couple days actually. I have, I plan my meal so I have another recipe for the broth that I'm going to use. Mm. Those mushrooms. There's a woman on YouTube that we are addicted to watching. Oh, what is her name? Sass? Oh, Sass Sass Mom. Hey, say it again. Sass Sass Mom. We love you. Pinky loves you. We love you so much. I have been watching you for years. Just eat with that beautiful lipstick. You're actually a very beautiful woman. You really are. This whole bar, I'm like, oh my God, who is that? She is so beautiful. And then when we started seeing more pictures of you, or more of your videos, where you, you and your husband, and I love that, congratulations, on that journey. Um, you're absolutely stunning, actually. I already told you that. You are absolutely stunning. But we watch your videos, and you are the one that have, has got me into using these ikenoki. Am I saying it right? My son knows how to say it better. Ikenoki? These ikenoki mushrooms. Last year we started eating these. They're so good. No. Well, anytime we have ramen or pho, we eat them. I put them in. Oh my gosh, changed my life forever. Mm. <clears throat> you guys, what do you think? Really good. Come on, go. Yeah. Mm. -hmm. Mm. Vietnamese food. This is our second favorite. Yeah. That's why I had to learn how to make it. Growing up, I had a friend. <clears throat> My sister had a friend in our apartment complex. I can't remember her name. But my mom's, my sister's friend had an older sister. Her name is Kim Chili. Something like that. Really pretty Vietnamese girl. Um, my mom pretty much adopted this girl. She got a woman. Was always at our apartment. Just hanging out. Maybe she was babysitting us. I don't know. We were probably my kid's age. But I remember going to her house. They were from Laos. And it's the first time I ever saw and tasted Vietnamese food was then. Her mother was on the floor and she spread out the newspaper on the floor. And she'd be cutting the vegetables up. And you guys, they had a table, but her mother was very traditional. Very, I mean, just the sweetest, kindest people you'd ever meet. I wish I could find this girl just to thank her for being kind to my mom and, and us. She barely spoke English. My mom was um, very friendly person. Oh, it's an open door. Um, but she got me into loving glass noodle soup. You guys, I still remember the taste of eating at her mom's. 
and eating glass noodle soup on the floor with them. I don't know. Mm. Definitely bugs them. Yeah. Um. It was so good. And I'm so glad. I'm so proud of myself. I took the opportunity to learn how to cook it. Especially as much as we love it. My kids now say they like me cooking it better than going out to eat for it, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We love to go out to eat. But they're like, Moms, yours tastes better. First it was like, Mom, when I first started making stuff, could be yours too. Mom, this tastes just like the restaurant. <laughs> and now it's like, Mom, yours tastes better. You want some more? Are you good? I'm good. There's more meat and stuff there. Want some more noodles? I got some here. I got some. Mmm. Mmm. After this, you guys, we're just going to take it easy. Get back to taking it easy and chill. Hmm? Yep. What are you guys going to do? Um. It's cold out here. Mm, watch a movie. Mm -hmm. um. Do you know what you're going to watch? Do what? Um. Do you know what you're going to watch? Oh. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. I bought, you guys, um, treated myself, it's fair, I bought National Lampoon's Figurations, both, um, oh. the one in America and the one in Europe, my kids have never seen it, I bought it for five dollars at Walmart, I love We have a huge movie collection. I love collecting movies. And I love Walmart because they have a huge movie collection for $5. It's great for families. Cheap entertainment, you know. And it has all those childhood memory movies that I had when I was growing up. And they love 80 movies. Mm. Mm. So we could do that. Hmm? Mmm, you guys. How much do you love it, girls? How much? Too How much. much do you guys love it, girls? Mm. Why are they so good, guys? Mm. My mom. My mom's best friend is Filipino. Um. She actually taught me how to make lumpia when I was younger. And sometimes I make it. So I know how to make egg rolls now because of that. And um, if you can teach yourself how to make things, it's just, it brings you so much joy and pride that you've accomplished something. Hmm? And they love Helping me in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Mm. You want some honey? Yeah. Sure? You're full? Whew. You guys, I'm getting full. I'm getting full. I put a lot of meat in my plate.
Come on. Scoom. How you guys doing, Scoom? We're good. Excited for the week? I don't really know yet. They're home doing school online like most of your kids, I'm sure. The COVID. So, we're um, just home. You know, family first, safety first. So, mm. and they've been doing good. Hard so. Where, where you guys are, but. My area, the same. COVID is pretty bad. So, we still get out, guys. We're not going to live in a bubble. Sometimes I have to take a mask off quickly. My nose starts to itch. Do you work? Mm hmm? Yeah. Mm hmm. No, I do sometimes. Mm. My nose gets so itchy. Oh, my face area, my nose. I have to itch my nose. If they don't touch your nose, don't touch your face. But the freaking mask makes me freaking itchy. Mm. Guys, I did good. I ate all my food. Mmm. Mmm. Those Inoki mushrooms are so good. Mmm. Eat it. Oh. Eat it all up because, you know, those mushrooms. Yeah. Maybe we'll tomorrow. Later. They may be fine one more day, but. No, I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, it's funny. It's cancer. Can you give me some? I actually had them. I bought two packs last time. One of the packs, guys. Whoa! So, when you buy them, you gotta make sure you're gonna eat them. Literally that day. Look at them. These kids will eat anything. Asian kids. Mmm. 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 Okay. So delicious. This was a good fab. Uh, this was a good mukbang video for us, huh? Mm, yeah. Don't don't you guys worry. I'm gonna do my feet my seafood boil. Yeah. I'm gonna I have some Joe's stone crabs and I'll buy some stuff. A little bit at a time, guys. <laughs> I had the red potatoes. I, I got some corn, I think. And, um, yeah, I'm going to do the seafood boil. My local place has Crab Hut. Has really good, really, really good 
garlic sauce, but I know I know how to make it because I taught myself, didn't I? Mm hmm A few months ago. I'm like, let me figure out how to make the sauce. <laughs> that place is kind of expensive. I spent about $50, $60 there. So you split that egg roll if you want. I'm good. I'm so full. You sure, Gracie? Yeah, I have it. Mm. I'm so egg full. Rolls. They're so good. Mm. I'm glad, buddy. Yeah, so, what was I saying? You were saying about, about Crab Hut. Yeah, so this place by my house, has, it's called Crab Hut. Owner's is so freaking good. And the sauce is so spicy, but I learned how to make it. Garlic, butter, chili flakes. To die for. My kids are like, Mom, this tastes just, Old Bay. Mom, this tastes just like the restaurant. So I was like, it does. Oh my gosh, you guys. I put my businesses out of, my local business out of, out of business if I don't stop learning how to cook mm. their food. Huh, guys? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> the pub place, we don't really eat there as much as we used to eat there all the time, at least once a week. Yeah. And now we don't. We don't eat to. We did go there about, what, two weeks ago. Yeah. We did go there. I hadn't seen them in months. I like that, um, but, you know, I'm getting to the point where I don't want to spend the money, and now that I know how to cook it, it's like, man, I, especially the spicy way of me cooking it, guys, it's just, uh, you must make it at home. Stock up on what you're needing here and there, plan your meals. When you plan your meals, you know what you're going to, come in, the camera gets you. When you plan your meals, it gets cheaper to make at home. Because actually, it would be cheaper to go out to eat if I didn't plan it. Because the base is $9 at the store, or $7. His pho costs $7. The small bowl of soup for children is 7 7 for her. Mine is 8 $9 for my pho. So you guys do the math. This would cost me $4. So, technically... If I can buy the meat, the meat for the pho is very cheap. If you plan ahead, you're literally saving yourself so much money. But just making it home. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But look, mom did good. I'm a still gone. Oh, All right, you guys. Thanks so much for joining us once again. If you like more of these family videos, go ahead and hit subscribe and, and like, like video. Bless.